One local doctor is now monitoring himself for Ebola symptoms. He just returned from a trip to West Africa, also spending time in Sierra Leone. News 4's Emily Guggen has talked to him today and has his story. Lou, Dr. Myron Glick was in Sierra Leone for two weeks. He'll spend 21 days watching for symptoms of Ebola. So far, he's feeling fine. Ebola is a virus that's scaring the world. The situation in West Africa is grave. I mean, it, it's, it's devastating what's happening there. Dr. Myron Glick just returned from Sierra Leone, West Africa. He was helping to build a health center, which is an extension of his Buffalo Jericho Road Community Health Center. He says he wasn't exposed to Ebola and didn't perform any medical duties while there, but says they need all the medical help they can get. If the world doesn't throw everything we have at the situation, you know, there could be tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of people die in the next month. Because Dr. Glick wasn't directly helping Ebola victims, he did not have to be quarantined when he returned to the U.S. on Thursday. But four governors, including Andrew Cuomo, are requiring it for those that have. I think if the governors really looked at the science and at the facts, uh, they wouldn't have uh, taken this step. I, I think, I think it's, it's more out of fear. It's more the politics of it. Instead, Dr. Glick is monitoring his temperature twice a day and reporting it to the health department. He'll do that for 21 days. Erie County Health Commissioner Dr. Gail Burstein released a statement that says, Dr. Glick reports no known exposure to persons with Ebola virus disease, placing his risk of developing it as extremely low. She goes on to say, since Dr. Glick's risk of Ebola is low, the Department of Health can't stop him from seeing patients and practicing medicine. There's been a number of people looking in on me since I've returned home. Dr. Glick says he hasn't had any symptoms, and without symptoms, Ebola isn't contagious, adding he doesn't think people in the states should be worried about an epidemic because there is a health care infrastructure unlike West Africa. It will probably continue to be episodic cases that pop up here and there because we're a global community and because we have brave people who keep traveling to West Africa to, to, to try to help with that um, horrible uh, situation. And Dr. Glick says that the district Sierra Leone is in has over 540,000 people, but only three doctors. They're hoping to open their center soon to help with the Ebola crisis.